So hey guys, clicked on this video, you want to see how to make a uh, quad muffler and really cheap, high performance, and not super expensive. This is my Kawasaki Mojave, I've been rebuilding. As you can see, the exhaust or muffler has high damage on the mounts. It fell off after you pulled my quad back together. So yeah, I tried to fix it with weld on that edge. And I really just didn't want this boat anchor on it anymore. Just, just my quad sounded like complete crap with it on. So, I went on eBay. I was looking for stock ones. And that's for my reverse. But I was looking for a stock exhaust. Everyone wants like 80 bucks for a stock one. And high performance ones. Slip on ones are like 200. Even though I didn't want to use a slip on or anything special. Because that's more expensive. And I have the DG it's also on my tractor, which would work perfect, but I don't want to do that. So, eBay, I typed in, like, muffler slash exhaust, and this came up. These are for, like, ricers and uh, tuner cars. This just slips on the end where the stock muffler goes, and this is the output. So it's cheap. It's 30 bucks. 4 inch outputs, glass pack, 2.5 inch input, 30 bucks, why not, shiny, why not put it on a quad, because high performance exhaust is basically just a glass pack, and they're smaller, this is a nice bigger one, and it's at 200, spend 30, and you get a car muffler, it has this removable silencer, which, a rattle around, that's going to get taken off, Basically, the main idea is take this, you have your sock one. If these weren't rusted, you'd cut them off and mount them on that, and we'll make all new ones. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, cut this whole cap off of the back of the muffler, and basically go from there. But I'm gonna be using this pipe because it's the right pipe for my quad. And dropping it. Why are we on it making it all nice and pretty? And I'm using the same header pipe. And hopefully hopefully this pipe ain't too rotted. I can just paint it and keep it nice. But basically cut that. I was thinking cat this end and just run the pipe right into the side. Which we'll see how it goes. So just keep watching the video and you'll see how this turns out. Alright, one thing I forgot to mention the first bit. You're going to want to check the clearance of your muffler, which I have done before I made this video, I'll show you. Basically, what you want to do, set your shock on the lowest level you can. We ran it from, like, blown out, or just take it completely out. Mine's on the highest level, but my shock's blown out. You just ratchet strap it tight, then you just check. Pull it up where you think it's going to go. Mine's a little angled up because the rack's in the way. Mine's going to pretty much be mounted just like that. Just like that. So it won't be contacting anything. When the shock's completely down. And then I can just pull it all the way back up. Take this all off and be done. That's the one thing you want to do. Is bottom out your suspension. You might think you got good clearance, but you might have too much suspension travel. And it might bottom it out. But when it's fully up, you have plenty of clearance. But when your suspension's all the way down, it might hit your axle or your brake disc, depending on how big or small your quad is. Alright, so now that's out of the way. I did. Where'd it go? Here it is. They cut the top of the muffler off. You see that piece went in like that, sort of. That was on the top, and what I'm going to do is chop it, rest away, all this cap piece off. So, this is just going to be running. When I measured it off, it's going to be running right into the side of that. And then that piece is going to be capped. It's the only way it'll fit. Or another way, I could just cut that completely off, and pop that in with the cap on, but... I'd rather do it this way because this is all new metal. And I don't want this whole rusty cap on there, so. 
see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys. Uh, got this cleaned off. Oh man, I left that over there. But the clip that clamps is on, but it's all cleaned up now. It was like Whatever, it was on like that. And then I clipped it out of the square of it. And then I just I got a flap disc. I cut out with this, alright? Then I got a flap disc. And then cleaned it all up. Real nice. So I, I can just chop it wherever. Probably right around there. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. But I'm going to chop it somewhere around there where all that grinding is at an angle or as you know with a hole saw so much that contour so then all I have to do is drill a hole on the side and weld this on wherever it goes and then put a plug on the end of it but yeah at first I was going to use that muffler why is my hand shaking that muffler up there bad trash pick but it's too big way too big God, why the fuck? Alright, whatever. But yeah, so that's gonna be... I'm gonna clamp that on where I want it. And... Draw a line and cut it. And hopefully when I be back, my hand will stop shaking. Alright, so... See you in a minute. Alright, so guys. I got the adjust mocked up. Where I kinda want it. See, I'm actually just gonna run the pipe right into the back. I'll put a cap in the back and run the pipe right through the back. I'll show you that in a second. Duct tape pretty much just is holding it in place and showing where the steel will go. There's one mount up here. That'll work perfect. The back mount, I'll have to make a really long mount. Because that's in the back piece of pipe. My hand keeps shaking. But yeah, it's got the fenders mocked on there. So yeah, so look. I think that'll look pretty good. Just how it sounds. And how it muffles it. So I'm just gonna have to weld on some stainless or something to here at that shop. I have to mark it all out tomorrow and bring it in or something. But may maybe I would like to bring this, bring my whole quad there, work on it. Alright. <laughs> See right there. Pipe running straight in. Duct tape will just be a steel plate across the back. And a hole drilled. So the pipe just slips in and then that'll be welded. Because it slips off right there. And I'll be held in by the two bolts. I'll pull the fenders off for just to make sure it looks cool and show you again. Alright. There's a little better view. Top view. God damn it. I need to switch hands or something. Alright, so see that's gonna that's gonna be a solid mount weld straight up and a bolt on right there. And the second mount is right there. See as you see our saying there it is. Right there. I'll weld a piece of angle completely up to this. So that's gonna be just a bit longer but it should still work. Or I could weld a tab on here. Not right there, but that that work fine. That mount and that mount is a bit hanging off the edge, but not too worried. But it's the pipe, the stock pipe goes in the back of that. I have a duct tape also because I kind of want to hear what it sounds like, but I need to put a carb on it. So pretty much done for the night, and tomorrow I will catch up and show you my progress. I may have sounds if this duct tape don't melt within like five seconds. Alright, so, uh, see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. So what you're going to need to mount your exhaust is, I got some, I'm just going to go ahead and say inch and a half flat sock. Inch and a half by something. Probably a little thicker to be welded onto the stainless steel piece, but. Fake stainless, it's magnetic. But, you're going to. It's gonna get back to you in a minute, but you gotta cut it, drill the holes, and all that, so yeah. Alright, so I'm back. Now, basically, you cut out the hole to the size of your mounting, and then you just basically measure it up and weld it in place. That one's pretty easy. 
But for the back, see I have the uh, opening right there. So that's going to be placed up higher like that. Basically, I just did. I started out using a, uh, well, this is two and a half inch input. Where's my hole saw? Whatever. I started out with hole saw, and then it was dull, so I didn't cut it. And then you use a, what I use? One and an eighth, I think. You draw out the hole, like, off-centered to fit the pipe in. And then I just had to grind this out. If you had a hole saw, that'd be better. But you do half hole saw, the big hole, and then you just do that off centered. And then you cut out the hole saw, or the hole again, the disc. There you see, slides right on. Might need a little grinding. Yeah, it's gonna need a little grinding. But that just covers that. And then that'll be welded right in there. So. That work. Alright, you see. Oh. Okay, I'm back. So, this is basically the finished product. It is a little rough because this shit's kind of hard to weld. The fake stainless to some steel with a flux core welder. This is thin, this is thicker, and all that, so. I didn't make that clearance, it's kind of tight. See that? Yeah, this is going to be the finished product of it. What this is, is actually, if you don't know where to get some cheap metal at, I went to Home Depot, and if I'm honest, by the PVC, it's like an electrical box safety cover. There's a sheet. The galvanized sheet that you can put over stuff. Over like electrical boxes. And they're like $2 or so. 16 gauge. So that's what I used. But I ground the galvanized off before I cut it. So didn't have that problem. But I'm going to take this muffler off again. Without you guys seeing it. I'm going to uh, what is it? grind the weld. Make it look a little nicer. I'm going to be painting the whole exhaust, except for the tip, because it's got splatter all over it. I sand all that off, clean up all that, so it's just the tip's going to be still the stainless, so that doesn't have anything wrong with it. So yeah, I would tell, show you what it sounds like, but sadly my quad's not running right. It, I tried starting it yesterday, and it was having a problem, so... It wasn't really even running, so it sounds cool. It's just basically a glass pack, but it's bigger. So, so I just thought I'd share with you how to do that. Cause this is my first time trying to do this too. And I was looking on crate eBay for exhaust and all that, and all that problems. Thirty bucks for a brand new car one. So, whatever. So I might be back. I might show you the painting. Probably not, but whatever. All right. So comment, rate, subscribe, guys. And you'll see more quad about this Kawasaki Mojave on my channel. So, see you guys later.